Hello and welcome to Pirate News. I'm Ben Harris and today I will be bringing you news from campus, the New Jersey and New York area, and news from around the country. Our latest update on Seton Hall's fight against COVID-19 sees the total number of cases on the South Orange campus this semester rise to 233 and a total of 430 cases on the year as a whole, according to Seton Hall's most recent statistics at the time of our recording. If you or someone you know is experiencing symptoms of COVID-19, make sure you do the safe thing and reach out to health services by calling 973-761-9175. Make sure to wash your hands and wear your masks. In other news, on the green this past Friday, the Seton Hall community gathered for a vigil recognizing trends of anti-Asian violence and prejudice. The event was planned by multiple students who are members of FLASH and the AAPI community, as well as Seton Hall's Office of Student Engagement. Organizers and students displayed and condemned the unfortunate headlines of late involving public violence against Asian individuals and peoples. You can check out Pirate TV's on-site coverage of the event on our Instagram page. Now it's time for your Seton Hall Sports Update with Liam Plate. Liam? Thanks, Ben. Hello, Pirate Sports fans. I'm Liam Plate here with your Seton Hall Sports Update. On Saturday, the Seton Hall women's swimming team ended day four with a record-breaking performance in the 400 free relay to finish fourth overall in the 2021 Big East Swimming and Diving Championships. The re relay team, which included Leah Istanbuli, Julia St Stankiewicz, Natalie Heim, and Co Cornelia Jarasand were able to come in second position in the relay. Amanda Zazinski finished fifth in the, in the 1650 free for the Hall in her first Big East Championships with a time of 17 minutes and, and 13 seconds. Seniors Marianne Malloy and Amelia Wooten qualified for finals with Wooten swimming a lifetime best two minutes and five seconds. The Seton Hall baseball team clinches initial Big East series of the season on Saturday as the Pirates got the win over Butler. Despite falling in game one, seven to four, Seton Hall now has won four of its last six games. Nick Piero secured the victory in the second game after striking out five and two innings of relief work while senior Hunter Waldis acquired his second save in as many, in as many days. And other, play, other players that stepped up were Casey Dana, Matt Toke, and Justin Scotto. Dana had a team best three hits, which included two doubles in the double header. Toke drove in four runs. And finally, Scotto hit his first home run as a pirate in the second game. That's all for your Seton Hall Sports Update. Once again, I'm Liam Plate. Now back to Ben at the desk. Thanks, Liam. On Thursday over in Glassboro, Rowan University students had the opportunity to receive the COVID-19 vaccine via an on-campus pop-up vaccination site. To the surprise of Rowan officials, the Department of Health reached out to the school saying they had 2,000 available doses of the one-shot Johnson & Johnson vaccine to administer, and the university accepted the offer and set up the site. As the effort to get college students vaccinated continues, we'd hope these kind of opportunities become available to us here at the Hall and other universities nationwide. In other news, on Monday, Governor Phil Murphy signed a bill that will provide $15 million in federal grants to small businesses and nonprofit groups that have been affected by the coronavirus pandemic. This bill is a part of the Murphy administration's $100 million federal aid effort to help different businesses and organizations slowed down by the pandemic. Last week, Murphy signed a $25 million aid package for the restaurant industry and separate legislation that made arts and cultural venues eligible for $15 million in federal aid. Now we'll head over to Ryan Johnston, who will give us the five-day forecast for the South Orange area. Ryan? Thanks, Ben. Hello, Pirates. I'm Ryan Johnston with your five-day weather forecast for the South Orange area. Today, expect partly cloudy skies with a high of 65 degrees and a low of 46. Tomorrow should be a beautiful day with partly cloudy skies and a high of around 69 degrees with a low of 49. On Thursday, we'll see some scattered rainfall throughout the day with a high of 50 and a low of 41. Rain will continue into Friday with a high of 49 and a low of 41. Finally, to start out the weekend, Saturday will have partly cloudy skies with a high of 62 and a low of 44. That will do it for your five-day weather forecast. I'm Ryan Johnston. Now back to Ben for more news from around the country. Thank you, Ryan. In Virginia, one of the officers who pepper sprayed a minority army officer in a now viral traffic stop has been fired. Joe Gutierrez has been fired by the Windsor Police Department, while the other officer involved in the incident, Daniel Crocker, is still employed for the time being. Second Lieutenant Karan Nazario, who is black and Latino, is suing over the incident, claiming the two officers violated his First and Fourth Amendment rights. That's going to wrap up today's episode of Pirate News. I'm Ben Harris. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you stay safe, wear a mask, and have a great day.